Deathly Flash. Come on. So, hello everybody, what is going on dudes? It is Kibishmak here, and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. Last time, well, we obtained a few things here and there. <sighs> Primarily just Gasha Seeds and Subrosia after our second date with Rosa. We went ahead and did a few things here and there as well. As well, we, uh, oh my God. we went on a second date with Rosa and Subrosia. We checked out a few places here in Horon now that we have the new False Spirit. And, um, not only, well, we didn't check out a few, but more so we collected the False Spirit's power. And we arrived back in Labrina to talk with Mayor Plan. Now... We can go ahead and utilize the fact that we have a lot of rings to appraise and some extra money to go ahead and, well, collect and see what we get. A quicksand ring, cool. Alright, so I've made my money back basically, which is nice. Thank you very much. Not much more else here, so what there is left to do is to actually kind of explore about and utilize our gale seeds. Let's head up to the woods of winter. Oh. Let's actually do a bit of checking about now, of course, because we have our new powers. Let's go and let's change up the weather. And it's funny, changing up the weather in game and it's storming right outside my house right now. Living in SoCal, if anybody knows how poor the weather is doing or how crazy the weather is, um, you have an idea of just what's going on. Anyone who lives in the SoCal area, I wish you luck. Be safe. Can't explore the rest of this little area, so change it to fall. And why we want to do that aside from that is another of the golden beasts, a golden moblin. She keeps swinging, trap it in a corner, and eventually it will, goddamn, go down. That's another golden beast defeated. So be sure to keep that in mind and just remember that for for a bit later. Go ahead. Come on. Let's make our way back south to Horon once again. Uh, give me Rook's Feather because I like to jump everywhere. Oh, gosh, see, I completely forgot I had this one there. Let's see what we get. Gosh, a nut. A potion. Hey, hey that is worthwhile. Cool. I will definitely take that. Ugh, ignore the light like dungeon or the light like area. Oh, it's hard to do that. You wanna go this way? Yes! To hear the wonderful melody. Of course, I will never pass up an opportunity to hear that sound that song. I love that song way too much and I wanna hear it so frequently. I love that I can play that on the piano. Alright, but anywho, aside from myself. We return, let's go to Northern Horon. Of course, I could have taken a Gasha Seed if I so desired, but... Or, uh, not a Gasha Seed, um... A Gale Seed. But, I mean, I kind of just felt like walking about. It was not too big trouble in my arms or anything like that. So, boom. Thank you. Now that we're here by Eyeglass Lake, I believe what we want to do, or where we want to go... Um... Just change up the weather. I forget. Thank you. Just make it fall. Boom. Boom. And once more. And now we can actually use the autumn leaves to go collect this other treasure chest that has been bugging me and festering me this whole time. Change the weather. Jump. Totally missed the jump. There we go. Nice. That's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, right, cool. And now with that, we can actually go around Eyeglass Lake and kind of check out the area south, or at least go into the water and see what areas we can actually reach now that we have it opened up, such as this portion. Go. Come on. Ow. Ha. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. Let's do some weather changing, of course. 
Because we definitely want to set it to at least spring, I believe. So that is going to be our best sign. Of course, we put a bunch of these here. Shovel. Boom. Gosh, the seed location. Why not? We see. Well, you could probably guess, but our next dungeon. Already right around the corner. Okay, not that much you could do there. Go along this route. Follow along. Yeah, cool. Oh, we found this area. Can't do much with these Zoros here. Of course, you're gonna fling away from me. Go. Cool. Alright, never mind. We don't need it spring, we need it summer. We need the water gone. I thought spring would have been good enough, but no, we need summer. Go. Just change it up. Give me that. Ah, and that one little rock. That one little, um, what is it, rock? Stone, I guess. That movable stone. Hmm. Oh, shut up. Runs us, collect the rupees. Thank you. Another little side dungeon. And eventually, ow, we obtain another piece of heart. Cool. Ow. That's fine. One little bit of damage. Thank you. You too. Now, now that all that's done, we literally saw just above us here in Eyeglass Lake another interesting opening, which we want to set the weather to fall, and we can move from there. I have my hand on the control. Maple? Okay. This can either go really good or really bad. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, 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 we know the rules. I wasn't getting that ring anyways. Yes, 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 thank you. I tried. Now it's time. Boom. Boom. Boom! Oh, I just didn't want to grab it. Now we enter level five, Unicorn's Cave, the next dungeon, our next hellscape. <sighs> ow, my fingers! Ow, ow! God, my fingers are so frail. It sucks. Ugh. There we go. It's so cold. All right. Blah. Aside from that, we move. Of course, we have many Moldorms to deal with. Who would be surprised? Move along the northern end. You two. Please, quick pull. A bunch of chests here and there. Now we get the Iron Faces too, which is great. Come on. Oh, come on. Go. No! No! Oh my god. There you go. Heesh. Done all that, now be ready. Because this area can easily throw anyone for a loop. Because of the movement, you're forced to hold in the majority of the time. You want to be very, very careful. Very easy to get dragged about wherever you want to go. Which sucks. Because then that can happen. Ah, I hate this area. 
you can always, I think, you can just speed right by this by doing some dumb movement with the sand. No! I don't know if I have the skills for that though, but I can try. Oh, I jumped. There's no way. Yep. That's exactly what I mean. You can do some pretty sick movement. As long as you can time your jump. You can just completely nullify the entire room. And then all you have to do is just fall right back off. And you'll be back at the beginning. But cool. Compass obtained. We see it's one floor. I don't like that, but okay. How much else we can do about that? <sighs> Alright. Where to, where to? Let's see if we go north. And we can't do much else because there's something in the way. So let's go back. Immediately. We gotta draw back. We cannot do much else. I don't think going in the water has much benefit to us now. But we can't explore if you so choose. Ow, my hand. Ooh! Along this way, a bunch of Stalfos and two carts. I say we take the right one. Okay. Change the route. Aha! Thank you. And I can't hit you. But I can't hit you. Thank you. And a small key has been obtained. Cool. Don't think we can't go that way, so. Make our way back. Let's hit that. And we move. Back on again. Now we take the other path. Go, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Not much else thing we've done here. React, please. That's bombable. Let's drop one. Nice. Drop one more. You can always just jump back up, I believe. Right? Yeah, probably. Probably. Um. What? Okay, never mind. Nope. I thought I could do it. Cannot. And am I stuck here? There's no way I'm stuck here. Okay, well, damage I have to take. Do it again. That's all I can really do. Bruh. Yeah. KO all mini Moldorms, I don't care. Moldorm is my despised enemy. Damn, that thing gave me so much annoyance in prior games. You guys are here, cool, so I can't use my sword when I hit when I get hit by you guys, because you'll suck. And I can't do anything else. Okay, cool, I guess. Um let's see if there's anything here. Okay. Okay, some bombs, some rupees. Oh, oh well. Oh. Yeah. No, not the give those. They will literally push me off the stage. Okay, cool. It's one. Stop! Duh. And we got the dungeon map. <sighs> okay, we're good. Now we can see. Yep, it's definitely Unicorn Ted. Give me a feather, because I want to avoid. Shmoo, shmoo. Ow. Can't use my sword. Can't use my sword. Go. Um, ah! Too close. I'm going to move along here. And even though it is a drop zone, 
kind of have to do it. Ow. Ow. You guys are all hitting me, even though I'm... Get you know, me out of here. Okay, that... Stop there. Can't get out. I have no health. But... Boom! We obtain the magnetic gloves. Hell yeah. Cool, so you can repel and attract items. Well, see, let's equip it. And we'll repel it, well, S. We'll attract it. Whether they're matching. Yeah. Whether they're the same or different, we'll have varying results. No! Oh my god, you're literally haunting me. I don't like it. Stop, 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 stop! You went right to where it was. I'm so mad. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Oh. Nothing. Of course. Alright, whatever. Nothing. Alright, well, we see that these rooms lead to nothing else. This is its own side area, so. Uh, let's see if I can get some more rupees. Health, please. I mean, I have a potion, so I'm not too stressed. I just remembered I had a potion. But I still want some more health. Uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> uh, and I would have uploaded yesterday. I know this. You're literally seeing me record and upload within the same day. I can't do this yet. I just remembered. At least I don't believe I can. Right? Yeah. I'd have to go back. Um. Don't accidentally fall. Um, I would have recorded and uploaded this all yesterday, but unfortunately, my, that's a whole bit. Um, unfortunately my internet was just not agreeing with me. Boom, 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 boom. I was holding up. Jeez. Okay, that was great. And now we can actually utilize the magnetic hand. So we can go over different railings and passageways, and we can use it as a brosia. So, traveling the area and the terrain will be a lot easier. So definitely something really cool and worthwhile noting. And down here, small key. Cool. So now we actually open up that doorway. I have such low health. Come here! Come on! Fine. Can't do much else with you. Top on the railing. Nothing, anything, nothing, no. Cool, I'd rather keep it that way. Here we go. Um, uh, rock's feather. So that's gonna be our most helpful. And yep. It's already boss battle time. Ow. Where you wanna aim, I believe, is this hail. That's basically gonna be your, your key component for getting to him. For damaging them, I believe, yeah. Siger is his name, and literally rolling around, ripping you to shreds, is his game. So just try to keep your distance. Watch out for the route that he decides to take. Because, of course, his path varies. And when it does, it changes up the pattern. Thankfully, he shouldn't be too difficult to take care of. Go. Thankfully, you just gotta hit him a few times on his tail. Of course, you wanna just go in the opposite direction that he's going for the most part. Go. Woo! Go. You have to keep on wailing around him. Near the center, because you can't jump towards me. Yeah, yep. You form. And boom! Just like that. Tiger is done. We gain our health. And we found our halfway point. And with our halfway point, we've reached the end of this episode. Yeah, that's really all I'm going to call it for now. Because we have our work cut out for us. I'm not going to lie about that. We have definitely a lot of work to do. Whew! Because we still have half the rest of the dungeon to go through. We've got a lot of different places to be. But that'll be it for now. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you all continue to enjoy. 
Excuse me. And I'll be seeing all of you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.